Anthony, Brett Berry, and our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. This is Kevin Harlan. It'll be the defending NBA champion, Golden State Warriors, taking on Toronto. And the foul called on Kevon Looney. That's, That's his, his first, first foul. foul. First team foul. Now Golden State's starting five. The core of this team all out there. Curry and Thompson in the backcourt with Green at the four. Looney out there with Wiggins. There's McGrady. And he wills that one in. Sinking right through off the back iron. And McGrady, as accomplished a mid-range shooter as we have in the game, keeps that high release point on the jump shot. On its way from Curry for two. The offensive rebound. Looney finds Green. Now Thompson. From past the arc. We've got 28 seconds left here in the opening quarter. And he comes up with the deuce. Now, what a setup there. Green plays with great speed and plays with great pace. And that's a nice field play. That drive by Carter. It's his first trip to the line. That's his first personal foul. Second team foul. And the first one at the line is good. Some changes for Toronto. Kevin Willis has checked in for Oak. Christie comes in for McGrady. And it's Brown in for Bogues. So he gets them both. Yeah, Carter just a freak of nature. One of the best dunkers the game has ever seen. A, a top-tier shooting guard who just embraces the spotlight. Off target with his three. Green shot on the way. Kaminga, no good. And I was sure that was money on that one, but everyone has afforded an easy miss or two. Yeah, that happens. Important thing is for players, just don't beat yourself up and make a miss like that cost you another play. And still a close game as the first quarter comes to a close. Second quarter, fairly close game so far. And guys, what's your take on Toronto so far? Well, their effort on the defensive end has set the tone for this game. Yeah, defense has been infectious here as everybody stepping up aggressively on that end. Tracy McGrady is out there with Oakley. Then there's Kevin Willis. Then there's Brown. And it's Christie in at the two spot. That's the group for Toronto to start the second quarter. First team foul. Substitution on the court. McGrady outside. Passes it to Willis. Shoots. Unable to get that one. And Golden State will go the other way with it. And a deep three from Curry. It's hauled in by Oakley. He missed that one, but I've seen him drill shots from that distance in warm-up. Oh, no, I know he can make it, but th that's warm-up. So maybe just a step too far. That one, no good. The three from Poole. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. Poole's got a second bucket tonight. And Poole just deadly from three. McGrady against Wiggins. Floats one up. That shot, no good. And some good action through the first two quarters as we reach halftime. Warriors lead by three. And we'll be back for the second half following the break. Keep it right here on 2K Sports. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back to 2K Sports, everybody. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. Let's talk about that first half. Golden State found themselves in a close game in the first. Some good moments from both teams, but as the first period wrapped up, they trailed by two. And they turned it on during that second quarter, turning that deficit into a lead, playing with confidence. Taking a look at the Warriors, Kenny, what'd you think? Well, as well as they perform offensively, I'm surprised that they haven't opened up a significant lead. I mean, the passing shots are shooting well, they're making good decisions, but they haven't opened up the game yet. That 
could be difficult. Shaq, what was your takeaway on Toronto? Well, the pain presence was non-existent. They haven't put any pressure on the defense in terms of attacking the cup. It's simple. If you want to be successful in this league, you can't be a one-dimensional jump shooting team. And that'll about do it as we get ready for the second half. Let's take it out to Kevin Harlan. Shout out to my main man, Joel. Joel, what up? And we're halfway through this one. Plenty of basketball left in a game that's been fairly even so far. Here's Curry. And on the floor for Steve Kerr as we get into the second half. Got the core of this team all out there. Curry and Thompson in the backcourt with Green at the four. Higgins is out there with Kavon Looney. Bogues against Curry. Trying to get open is Davis, and it's Bogues missing. And the effort never stops with him. No easy shots when he's on the floor. Well, it's about the defensive end, and that's what guys feed off. He gives the effort down there at all times. Carter outside. Pass to McGrady. To the paint. That one's in there. The Warrior lead is cut down to five on the bucket for Munchie Bones. Yeah, and you got to respect the size McGrady has. Easily seen over the defense there to spot the open man. Now that's just enough defensive pressure on him to throw off that shot. I bet he gets a, a good look at it next time and hits it. And he drops in the layup off the glass. McGrady's got his second bucket of the game to go. He just takes advantage of the D in a way that very few players playing today can do. On its way from Curry for two. Open jump shot off the mark. And we just finished the third quarter, and we've got a tight ball game here. Warriors ahead, up three. And we're coming right back. Be sure to stay with us as we get started for the fourth quarter. And let's go back to a terrific pass that we're calling tonight our State Farm assist of the game. And how about the big fella here showing us he's got some point guard skill here with the tremendous setup. Now the passing for the team becoming contagious, this time involving the big. Well, this has been a great contest so far. And I imagine the fourth quarter could have even more action in store for us. They've got Christie. Davis is out there with Kevin Willis. Then there's Carter. And it's Brown in at the point guard position. That's the five out there for the Raptors. Now, here's DiVincenzo. Vince Carter missing his last shot. It's in! DiVincenzo being a connector out there now. And the Raptors call time here. They're trailing by five. 43 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Ladies and gentlemen, your Raptors do dancing. And Toronto making a change. Curry's checked in. And while we've got a moment, let's send it over to our terrific reporter, David Aldridge. David? Hi, guys. During that last break, I heard what the Raptors coach told to his team. Yes, they're behind right now, but he's still upbeat. He said, guys, we can get back in this game. Stay together out there. All-out effort can win this game. Thank you, David. It's going to make it so much easier for your teammate when you throw that lead pass that gets to him right on the money, whether that's on the run or in the shooting pocket. Oh, what an impressive dribble drive. That replay Warriors. brought to you by Mobile One. Nice score that came from just that attacking the rim. Ball. Huge play First in this back. hotly contested game. Warriors the Warriors making a switch here. Looney's checked in. Looney. Poole against Christie. Here's Willis. Trying to get open is Davis. Yeah. Good! What a beautiful shot to bring him to within three. You can't afford these defensive breakdowns, especially down the stretch. Yeah, breakdowns like this are only going to hurt you moving forward and late in the game. Establish some trust and make the defense come together. Timeout called the Warriors. They're leading by three. 24 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. And now we present our New Balance Player of the Game. 
Yeah, this is so this whole field tonight seems almost made up. I, I didn't think it was possible to have that kind of success shooting the basketball. You, you need a little bit of luck, a bunch of hard work, and a whole lot of talent. Catching up on the changes for Toronto. Oakley, he's checked in for Willis. McGrady comes in for Curry. That's Bogues in for Brown. And so they foul intentionally. first personal foul. Second team foul. First free throw is good, and that gives them a four-point cushion. Almost automatic shooting free throws. Steph Curry, no one I'd rather have in this spot. And so both free throws are good, and it's a five-point game. Perfect from the line. It's now a two-possession game. Toronto calls timeout. They're down by five. 23 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. What do you think, guys? Yeah, trying to get back in this thing, they need a score. It's funny, at this point in the game, the coach is asking the team to be perfect. They haven't been to this point. 23 seconds left to play in the final quarter. And they go to the intentional foul. Antonio Davis. That's his first personal foul. Third team foul. And no good is the first free throw missing for him. We'll see if he can hit the second. Andrew Wiggins came into this league as such a special talent. It's so great to see all of that blossoming this far into his career. And the second of two is good. That increases their lead to six. And so it's Carter who brings the ball up for the Toronto Raptors. Bogues. And again, no good by Toronto. And so they choose to intentionally foul. Oakley. That's his first personal foul. He drops the first one, and that makes it a seven-point lead. Shooting for Golden State. Andrew Wiggins. Two shots. And he hits both free throws here. So now it's an eight-point game. There's ten seconds left in the fourth. Curry way outside. Nails the triple. Here's Green. So we see the Warriors get the win here. They seem to relish their role as the bad guy here tonight. Yeah, you know, Kevin, I sense that as well. I mean, they really did feed off all of that negative energy that this crowd was directing at them. I mean, they turned it around and used it as motivation to close out a significant win. And that'll do it, folks. For Greg Anthony, Brett Berry, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching the NBA. Presented by 2K Sports. See you next time.